the year 2026 could mark a turning point in Apple's history. And this could happen not with a headset, not with a watch, but with a device that folds. Yes, Apple is reportedly preparing to launch its very first foldable iPhone and this one comes with a different kind of story. For the first time, Apple is entering a product space that's already been around for some time now. Yet, the buzz suggests that this may still become one of its most impactful launches ever. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple's first foldable iPhone is on track for a debut at the end of next year, which is 2026. Now, it won't be a brand new category the way the iPhone or iPad once were. Instead, it's a late entry into a space which has been pioneered nearly seven years ago by Samsung. Gurman has claimed that the foldable iPhone will take a book style form factor which is similar to the Galaxy Z Fold lineup. These devices may come with foldable OLED panels which will be sourced from Samsung Display. But Apple is aiming to refine the experience overall. The iFoldable iPhone may come with a stronger hinge, a less visible crease and seamless software optimizations through iOS 27. Now, Apple is trying to reinvent the foldable form factor from scratch. Instead, it's leaning on what it does the best. Delivering polished hardware, building exclusive software experiences, and leveraging its brand loyalty. The expected foldable iPhone is may start at around $2,000 and may cater to Apple's premium segment while unlocking pent-up demand among iPhone users who have been waiting for a foldable phone without switching to Android. Foldables have also been gaining traction worldwide, but especially in China, which is a market that Apple is eager to strengthen. With local Chinese players like Huawei, Honor and Xiaomi pushing foldables aggressively, Apple's entry feels timely. Beyond demand, the foldable model may also help Apple drive higher revenue per iPhone, even if the overall unit sales remain flat. Moreover, Apple's foldable iPhone may not redefine the category on day one, as Samsung and others have already paved the way. But with Apple's marketing prowess, ecosystem lock-in, and subtle refinements, it could still be the device that finally makes foldables mainstream. So as 2026 approaches, the big question isn't whether Apple's foldable iPhone will break barriers. It's whether Apple's entry can shift the foldable phone market from a niche curiosity into the next big trend in mobile technology. And if history is any guide, Apple just might pull it off. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And for such tech updates, stay with us in the next video.